Welcome back to my F1 Tour 2020 career mode. My driver version, of course. We are getting into the meaty part of Season 2 now. And if you didn't see my Chinese Grand Prix, guys, I'll be honest with you, it was just a case of having the two-stop and it was a little bit boring, to be fair. Uh, but yeah, we are here now, of course, live in Holland. Not literally, because I'm actually in Wales, but um, technically I'm in, I'm in Holland. In my head. Uh, <laughs> weird way to start. But yeah, we are going to go... Straight to qualifying now, guys. Ricardo is destroying me in the rivalry, but it is what it is. Uh, the Renault is a far, far superior car. To let you guys know, I've just done an ultimate tyre upgrade as well. And a major one that went through this race, along with the aerodynamical front wing. So, we have got a bit of a bit more hope for the next GP, of course. So, over to check the weather for qualifying, and it's looking pretty decent. Tyres are overheating a bit here. Uh, if I get don't get through to Q2... Or Q3, sorry, I'll be doing a medium hard run. Drag it out an easy one stop. And here's Claire speaking to me again. The last time she spoke to me was China. You what, baby? Leave him there then and come back in here. Oh, I got a fault! Leave the pots on the table, okay? Come back in here then. Well, guys, that kind of pisses all over my idea of this. Uh, we've got a fault. What a start. Um, yeah. Not ideal. But here we go, then. All right. Zanvo is. We're just going to basically have to watch someone. Can we watch any of the house drivers? Are they here? Oh, they are. What's my sheet here? So, basically, we have two minutes of just chilling. Let's watch Nobaharu. Put your balloon down then, please, Remy. Balloon down, please, lovely. Yeah. Give it to me, I'll keep it by me. Just so he doesn't get it. Yes. <laughs> so Matsushita, of course, is fresh out of F2. After being one of my biggest challenges. Straight after this race, guys, we are going to be delving in to some football manager. I'm not sure if we're doing the stream version. I don't know if Ryan's actually going to show for it, but if he does, then happy days. If not, then we'll be, um... Matsushita, of course, having himself a pretty decent uh, beginning to his tenure. He um, beat George Russell last race. <laughs> Got a little lady here with me as well. So this one should be pretty cool. I don't know how this race is going to go, but... Watching Matsushita. <coughs> what was that, baby? Ah! Watching gummy bears. Uh, so... So we are pretty much ready to roll here, guys. 20 seconds until the um, sensor gets back. Sensors get back to normal. Probably could have left the garage with no sensors, but it wouldn't have been ideal. Uh, the race is looking just cloudy, so we've got full dry, dry race, dry quality. We've been very lucky with the weather so far. Car seems okay. So let's get going nice and early, peeps. Here we go. It's in the stand a little bit, my ear. Make sure you get some time. I like we've only got the Haas car behind me. I don't think I'm on that pace, so I can get probably a mid-10, maybe. Did actually complete a soft run in qualifying. 
practice uh, practice because I exploded on the final corner. Ties over here to a stupendous point. Fast, free flowing track. Live with Football Manager, guys. Well, you'll definitely be seeing me doing another career mode episode tonight. That's a million percent because obviously SF1 is not here this week due to an Easter break for whatever fucking reason. I'm being honest, to man. Grid and I found the glitch way to do it. Just drive around at 20 miles an hour after you complete a practice program. That is a brilliant way to do it. I don't think I can get any fucking gr Grammy awards of that sort of sector time. Tires are overheating anyway. I don't have to use the softs, it's just overheat. It's not going to be good for the race. We are maybe after this race, okay? What? Pace is real in the car. It's just the cornering which is becoming an issue. We go seventh. Wow! Hello, that's better. Behind Vettel, ahead of Kvyat. That there is a pretty decent start. Gonna lie. 30. Oh shit, went too far. Magnussen's way above me though. That's always gonna be an issue. Gassy's gonna move up. Norris moving up. We're one second off pole, which is not bad at all. One minute ten. I said I'm gonna get a mid ten. One minute ten four. Exactly where I pretty much should be. Do we get through? We don't. We do! Yeah! Hey, one tenth quicker than Norris down in 16th. Wow, okay. I guess he just didn't want to go back out. Ultimately shocking seeing Lando Norris, who of course bagged the podium, has already bagged the podium this season. I believe, I think it was Norris to the podium. I'm sure it was. Or if it wasn't this season, it was definitely the arse end of last season. That is absolutely shocking. Need to get the car a little bit better. It's not currently working for the. What? Well, it's not suited to me, rather than it not working. Because the car's working fucking fine, but. Just not able to get it. Do what I wanted to uh, at the moment. That is a rise up. Welcome back, brother. And this again, I, like, I don't get too many views, but I've got loads of people who I've got connections with, so it kind of helps out with the streamers and shit. But yeah, it's Sanvort. China was boring, as we said. Just basically, I, I did the unfortunate misfortune of doing a two, I have to do a two stop because I was too bloody quick in Q2. I'm, that stage, but that's off you. If I had a hat on, you know I'd be the one taking off, bro. <laughs> Here we go, then. You never heard me have a loud stream before, a proper one, anyway. Oh, you'll be hearing that in a bit when we play some foot manager with the lads. I tell you, it's wild. Uh, here we go. Oh, fast lap and call it. Oh, the clown's going. So he's going to have to get the fuck out of the way here. Oh, he just stays back. Oh, nice. Got away with that one then. 
do like Samvot. Much better track than Hanoi. Out of the new two. Even though Hanoi, when you really get nailed, you do have a flow to it. I just, I just overflow and just like kind of, maybe the equivalent of having a colostomy bag break open over your fucking floor. A little lap here, fist check, 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 check. Always set that corner wrong. One minute, lovely. Just let me do this, please. Down sector two. Let me do this, baby. I'll get back to the pits and we can have a chat, okay? You okay? You okay? Okay. Stroll. I think we're slow in the race. Yeah, this car looks like it's found its sort of level in about 14th, 15th place, at least at the moment. We have an ultimate tire upgrade coming for after Monaco. That's going to be sensational. Don't we validate there, for fuck's sake? Better lap. Oh, fucking eight tenths off the racing point. Wow. Yeah, no race. Um, Horizon, mate. Don't worry. I keep wanting to call you Overlord. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Oh no. Um, are we up? Magnuson got to Q3! Q2, sorry. What? What's Albon? Um, I'm not my favourite colour. I like all colours, maybe. What's your, what's your favourite colour? You can tell me what's your favourite colour. You like pink, don't you? You don't like black, no? Ah, oh, you don't like the colour black. I like the colour black. Black's a good colour. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Random, but we'll take it. Uh, right then, so we come 13th in qualifying. Some way off getting through. Uh, the guys doing 108. Fucking hell, man. Everybody does a soft run in the end. Leclerc made it into fourth. That is a glitch lap. That Ferrari is nowhere near. I'm telling you now, that Ferrari is nowhere near the top 10. Or at least they're not in the top 7. No way. Yeah, no worries. Um, Horizon, not a problem, buddy. Uh, Danny Magnol, 1998. Thank you for watching, bro. Uh, I literally had to strain my eyes then to see if it was Magnail or Mangale or Jesus Christ. Not ideal. All right, so we got um, uh, we got slapped again in the qualifying rivalry. It's kind of to be expected. It won't let us go against anybody below us, which is slightly annoying. But you okay, love? Got a drink? Yeah, have a drink. Lovely. I've got it here. Just because you had a cough, that's all. Here you go. A bit more than that. Come on, you divvy donut. Did Daddy call you? Divvy donut. What are you waving at me for? You're in the same house as me. Good grief. <laughs> yeah, here we go then. We've got a big, big race coming up. And we get to do the one stop. I really get a chance to do this. Yeah, what's this? I just wish it was such a... God. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Uh, to the level as well. It's got blind. Sorry, I was blowing my nose there. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I'll show you the RD progress. Look at that. Look at that. That chassis is going to make us go from bottom of the table... To nigh on top of the table. Uh, it was the one band that I was always the worst in. Look at that, man. Holy flaps. Just by not upgrading anything, we're going to move right up there with the McLaren. Now, this is the weakest point of my car. The next thing I'm going to be doing now is literally focusing on getting these two aero things done and the drag. Just so the car doesn't feel like a fucking boat. Uh, this is compared to the progress. Yeah, see, Ferrari are just sucking. How I don't like the fact these cars have glitch lap times. It really pisses me off, man. Honest to God. Why have they not fixed the fact that AIs get glitch lap times if you simulate a session? It's stupid. We finally hit the 600 performance bracket. Only 100 off Mercedes. It's around about a second a lap, that is. And we've got Spain coming up. Uh, Monaco and Baku are just kind of throwing races. Canada, I reckon that'll be all right. My season properly starts between France and Italy. That's when I'm going to pick up the majority of my points if I'm on form. Uh, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'll leave you with the season standings as I usually do. Uh, components, by the way, just let you know, are all rolling, all good. We took our fresh components in Hanoi because I fucking hate the track. 
so this is the season results so far. There's my trophies for points, ninth and sixth. Guys, I'm back in at one minute. Right then, this is going to be a good one. Over to Zanvot. One stop strategy, medium hards. Spain is going to be a very tricky one. I might go softs for hards on Spain. Now I've got tower upgrades, we can finally do it. Over to Crofty, Let's see what he's got to say this time. For years, the passionate Dutch fans have been easy to find trackside at races across Europe and throughout the world. Now, at long last, they have a Grand Prix to call their own. It's a warm welcome once again to all of our viewers in the Netherlands and around the globe as we get underway for the Dutch Grand Prix. A lap of this short 2.6 mile Zandvoort circuit features 14 corners, 10 to the right and 4 to the left. The main straight is 678 metres long and heads into turn one, the Tarzan corner. With DRS down the main straight into the braking zone, that could be the best overtaking opportunity on the track. Five views, guys. Thank you for watching. It's going to be a good one. Happy Davis has not been paid for this race, clearly. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up. Where's Bottas? Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Where's Bottas? Daniel Ricciardo and Stroll, Sainz, Vettel, Leclerc, and Esteban Ocon, Bottas, Gasly, Thomas, and oh. Magnussen, Fiat. Norris, That's Antonio question. Giovinazzi, and George Russell, Matsushita, and Nick De Vries. Now, it's almost time the for... Haas cars bring up the rear for the fourth time in a row. Well, a Haas car, should I say. Right, Jeff here. Can you hear me? Good luck today. We can make a top ten position, so give it a hundred percent. That's one second slow. We're going to go that one. Can get a top ten apparently. We're gonna go there. Actually, we're gonna go one one lap under, I think. Oh, I'm just gonna go normal fuel. There you go. Fuck it. We're not gonna underfuel. Not gonna overfuel. Fuck it. There you go. Right here we go. Let's go. 
Me and K-Mag going for the medium hard. Makes sense too, to be fair. Any wing damage, I know I can do softer hard, so we're just going to don a pair of so set of softs and go further. Right, let's get the car up to temperature on this lap. We're learning the gears, so go through them all if you can. Okay, there's Pierre Gasly. We're going to probably slump at the start based on being on the mediums, but then they will go further. Woo! That's not what you want to do, go around a corner. I hope that doesn't happen in the race. Fuck it yeah, now. Jesus. That is nice and warm already. Nice. I've got medium so don't overheat. Only reason why. I know, quick thing. Quite a few of the cars around me uh, need some more aerodynamic performance, so that's why the next three upgrades I'm getting are all going to be of the aerodynamic variety, and then we're going to go back to chassis, of course. Engine's pretty good. Um, I can literally go and get the last engine upgrade if I really, really feel the need to, but I don't really, honestly, need to at the moment. Williams very quickly becoming a midfield team. <laughs> Oh god, sorry guys, fucking hell. Strategy away. The the start sequence will begin as soon as the grid has formed. Be ready with the clutch. 36 laps, peeps. I did 100% race on here. Four. Opposition, nice. Coming to the inside. Off all the cars behind us. That's good. Snappers on the inside there with no way. Gotta watch it. Oh god, this is gonna. Oh no! Come on! Oh god, no! No, 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 no. What the hell was that? Wow, I will be restarting this, guys, by the way, but that was fucking wild! Max there. Oh, he spun himself! Oh, he dropped himself! I had nowhere to go. Yeah, we're gonna restart that, guys. Forgive me. Uh, what progress? Save Max for Stafford too. Oh, I want to die here once. Go for the inside of Gasly. Oh, to the outside now. Oh, there you go. 15. Oh, yeah. That's what should happen. What explosion that was. Start one. Wow. Very short stream anyway. So I would have literally, from now on, I think after this race, we're not going to do any restarts or anything like that. So. Position on lap one. That's not great, but it's not terrible. Stay focused. Jeff, did you not witness the first restart? I was out by turn three. Shut up. Roll with it. Outside of Gasly. Oh, 
fuck off, I'll just chill behind him, chill behind him, chill behind him, chill behind him. Long range thing around for eight, lost my butt. Still not often pose problems with anything to get that kind of power out and see. Problems around there. Cars up, tires overheating on medium, so it's never ideal. Escaping a bit from K-Mag, which is nice. Oh, Juvenatus got through. Oh, okay, we're still quicker than him anyway, so it's not a problem. DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. There slightly, we are comfortably in position now. They're on fresh softs, their tyres are two laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a one minute 13.8. You're falling back by one tenth a lap. All those gains, man, are killing me. Feels like I'm gonna die every single fucking last corner. It's not ideal. Look at this up here. Renault, oh, there's a yellow flag. Who's that? It's a McLaren. McLaren's round. Sides went round then. McLaren's having a good race so far. Sides is going to drop it this time. Cars are making mistakes here. Just gotta keep on nerve. We've got Vettel just in front of us and Gasly. They're our rivals this season. Looking to scrape into the top two, top six, top five cars. Got to overcome your rivals. No, oh, we're currently leaving Giovinazzi behind, it seems. Lots of stout, still down in P10. That's kind of shocking. He's got damage too. That was with the lock up. Sides are struggling really badly here. We're having a little look on the outside. Into the corner, we got it. We got Gasly. Sort of, sort of. Yes, we have. We took advantage of signs with no grip. That's P12. Signs not having any grip around the first corner. Really struggling. That bolts up to P12. I love that Zanvo. All the new tracks, AI do make mistakes. They don't make a round handle. There's not enough room for them, but. Our final corner is far superior to any of the AI. Let's really just chill out behind these guys. We're going to get our own time soon to shine, really. So I just caught back to the clear here, so there's no damage for Carlos, it seems. Back into 
the zone now. Oh, making mistakes, which is lovely to see. It's nice to kind of see the human aspect of an AI for once. Makes no sense, I know, but... Chill out down here, we're good. So we do it! What a move! Yeah! Good girl, we did it! That's awesome. I'm look on the outside of the clay. That'll just couldn't have no, I did have no answer for that. Oh, ram wide, ram wide, ram wide, ram wide. Oh, fucking hell, that'll hit me. You give me a little nudge there. I, dropped, I think that was my fault. I lost control. There you go, I get the warning. Start down to 13th briefly. It's a bit of a bump by Charles there on Bottas. No false foul, Bottas there. He's got bumps on which overtake around here. Far superior straight line speed to Charles Leclerc. Hey, and the amount pause is in the points. What an amazing start to the Grand Prix this is! Well, tyres are slower than these guys as well! Huge, huge potential here! Bottas ahead, less than a second separate you. They're on old softs. Their tyres are seven laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 1.14.6. You're gaining by one tenth a lap. Guys do make mistakes around this track, it's nice to see. But the arse move completely left Leclerc in the dust there. Right, look, oh shit, no, 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 Behind and Gasly's found his way to P11 now. The Ferraris are sinking like fucking stones. In no man's land right now, for once. Just about this is perfect for me. I'm actually in no man's land for once, but I'm in the points. It's a nice no man's land, they're like China, we're just stuck in the battle for 13, there's no hope. Also, some little look at signs here, it's going to go down. Bit of a collision between the two of them. Here. So they're they having terrible trouble round turn one today, I've noticed that. We're going into this uh, corner, it's all attacking, just gotta play it by here. Starting to stretch our legs against Gasly. Now we've found our way up to car 
all our signs, interestingly. in the absolute dust. Still, top 10 worthy, easily here. Signs is having so much problems around this track. Williams in the battle down the back. From Star Wars? Who are you going to be? That's a nice question, baby. You never asked me that one. Uh, Princess Leia. That's her name. You want to be Princess Leia? She's a very good princess. Yeah, she's from Star Wars. Size fills off in the pits, and that's going to be us P7 briefly. So the house pitted and come out in front of his teammates, so that's... Ah, because you like baby Yoda, don't you? Gasly's come out in front of Perez, that's a nice position to have. We are quicker than Piet. Battery charge is high. Let's use that overtake button more. Five laps after we do pit, though. So we're going to probably have Perez behind us soon, I think. Now's lead between us now. We'll give us a bit of a cushion so we don't have to overly push. Lucky we didn't get a warning there. No corner cup warning so far. It's 11 and a half laps. Not bad. Just need to remember this is my weakest part of the track. Front is 2.8 seconds. We are currently managing our car well. Tires are good. Their hard's going to be very warm by the end as well. We just got to not push too hard on the hard tires immediately. We're on fourth here, I think. We pretty much burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine Snap is in front of us, not a problem. Gasly will come out in front. Uh, uh, well, they all will. Gasly stayed out. That is ideal, quite frankly. He's called Gasly. Yeah, like the Pokemon's called Gastly. He's, this race is called Gasly. Who's that watching? It is B7. Oh, God, I was watching the foul bollocks. That wasn't ideal. Hey, B7, how's it going? <laughs> a little lady shouts, hi, B7. Really out. Hope you're having a lovely morning, matey. A very, very scruffy lap, this. Let's get myself back in rhythm. Zandvoort, if you're out of rhythm, it's the a very difficult moment. Just fitted the hard tyres. Car ahead now on the hard compound. We'll be on hard tyres in around about three laps, so. It's been a while since you did make it. Hope you're having a lovely time. Obviously, lockdown ended very soon for us Brits. So, I'm on the pits, which means we are going to move into the podium positions briefly. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the hards. Is this with our parents been released into us? But we are clear. But album following. Okay, that's not a problem. The car since the tire wear improvement is absolutely joyous. So we'll look about 15 plus because a few cars behind us haven't actually completed the pit stop yet. One minute lovely, just coming round this corner now. Let's give it a time to the front runners. Obviously we're on heavily worn tyres, kind of to be expected really. Oh, 
what are we fuck going about today? Oh, no, 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 not going to Greg's for me, so we have to have our dinner at home, okay? Don't know what we're having today, actually, we'll have a look later. We'll to Asda after we fight, after we move the stuff out of the corner and look for Bunny and Jesse, alright? Very, very simple start to the Grand Prix. I'm going to be coming out probably around about... Well, I'll be ahead of quite a few people here. You'd understand that, because I'm going to be on a charge. Remember, I was comfortably P10. Well, P9 for you. Battle with signs. It's been held up by Mads in the Alpha. That is fucking ideal right now. Points are on the cards. If we just keep it clean for the next few laps, it did drop half a second. Have a look at that comment in a second, Beaver man. B7! Yeah, B, I'm pretty good, man. Uh, just um, grinding the F1 career out. You made my massive, by the way, top of Division 2. Be sure to tune in there, B. 9 p.m. Tuesday evening. Come support your man. You're at Canada, of course. Next race. We are really keeping Albon behind. Wait till this. We'll be able to go to the pits, pause it, have a look at the race director, and have a drink. Be nice. But yeah, you can say what the fuck you are on the stream, but I'm not doing Toy Story anymore. At least I'll be doing that probably sometime next week. Be able to put them the uh, take the maturity, put the maturity thing back on my streams, I think, later tonight. Got a lot of YouTube to do as well later. That's going to be interesting. Boring. We're having our fastest lap of the fucking race here. I want a pit. <laughs> do well. I don't want a pit. So we're going to come up 14th. We're going to have to make up some fucking time, man. If anybody can do it, it's your man! E3 at the moment. See, if I go another 7, 8 laps, I can do softs, but I don't want to. I'm end up fucking destroying my tyres, and I'll be miles behind everyone. Well, just take it easy on the hard. Spirit of Man, I have crashed out of it twice from hard tyres. Slow into the pits. Better to be slow and steady than dickhead and Eddie. Right, so we've got one, two, Norris on the hard, so we're going to be 12th. We need to come out in front of Pierre Gasly. That way, we'll be able, able to move up a couple. Yeah, if we go there, we'll be 12th. Yeah, that'll be points. So we need to beat Pierre Gasly. Oh, I got a warning for hitting Vettel. I think I was bullshit and he came into my car, so I mean. How that works, fuck all me knows. Come on, gotta be Gazi, I'll come on. Complete, go now. Come on, oh, it's stuck in gear, bollocks. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. Come on, sir. Very, very good. Good, 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 good. We beat Carlos Sainz out the pits! Brilliant stuff! Awesome! Wow, I didn't think I'd be that high up. Bottas only in P9, of course, he's a net 8th place. Which is hard to see. Very slippery around this track, I remember it. So we're on the My Team, but we have got a couple more upgrades on the air and chassis than I did on the My Team series. Okay, we've got plenty of energy. Use the overtake button. What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Where are you going? Did you pull us your tablet, Angel, and then um, go for a wee and come straight back down, love? Okay. You okay? Put your tablet there, please, then. Straight back down, then. Love you! Love you. Good stuff. Shut the door. Ah. <laughs> so, there's a Renault going ridiculously slow up front. That hopefully will be Ricardo, but you never know. We're now on the same tyres as these guys. We've been on a disadvantage all race. Oh, that feels absolutely sexual! P, A, and P, well, potentially, if we get a 
grass in gear. We could all hunt down that Renault, but... I feel this has been safe, so it's probably lucky I didn't over underfuel the car as I'd be an absolute shit up the shit's creek right now. Back for Stapa DNF! We start. Oh my god, it's Lewis. Lewis Hamilton DNF! <gasps> he was first by a mile! He's done it again! He did it in Abu Dhabi! Yellow flag. He was shit round Bahrain! So He's not won a race this season, last season's champion! And now he is out! From a dominant lead in Zanfort. Here he is. Well, well he's up to P8 here. We get the jackpot of retirements this season. Signs of Makana from Melbourne. That gifted us in the world. I say gifted. Well, yeah, it would have, because it would have been 11th. So, it definitely gifted us. We're in net 8th place here. I didn't expect to be this high up. I thought it'd be 5th, 10th, maybe. It's just working. Okay, it's just working. Ahead, but remember, we need to get to the end of the race on these tyres. Clear Bottas, that'd be insane here. AIs are having their struggles around this track. We begin to leave Carlos Sainz behind. Yeah, fastest car on the track. Lewis Hamilton, Bottas stuck behind. Sam Norris. Oh, absolutely fucking flying. God, it's a Red Bull 1-2 around Zavort. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. In my previous career, I was not in this one, though. Because I've got two podiums, so anything can happen, of course, in this Grand Prix series. Pretty serious, it seems. Norris is going to be coming into the pits in the next two laps. I don't know, baby. I think he's on the sofa. Okay, go and sit down then, Angel. Can you tell that back? You're increasing the gap on the car behind by five tenths per lap. What's that clears Norris? It's our turn coming up. Get him there. That's some chill. You okay, love? Watch it, lovely. Okay. Go and sit down, please, baby. Fuck's sake, just get a balloon out there. Right, move this out the way. There's my way. Thank you. We'll play after, because we've got to go find Bunny and Ducky. Or oh, Ducky and. Who is it? Bunny and who? Ah, that's the one. That's basically sort of it, guys. I was smacking a balloon on my head, which is. Still funny as fuck, but not when you're fucking racing around Zanvor, we need to have ultimate concentration here. We yeah, I think this is going to be the limit we can do here. The car in front is 1.6 seconds. And we just got someone to chase, which is awesome. Seems to have nailed Zamvor, it seems. What's your Beba? Which one is it, baby? What are they doing? What are they? Seriously, love it. This car around here is fucking amazing. Ocon P6 then. Not out of reach. I think if we can get Ocon, because Sydney's on a podium already this year. Well, it's Carlos Sainz. He's a race winner this season. Beating him as well. We are absolutely fucking flying here. It's quicker than uh, Ocon all lap. 
opportunity to, for the first time ever, trumped. Both of them, obviously Hamilton not here, Bottas struggling down in P7. But held up, of course, by the by the midfield gaggle of Carl. Well, basically held up by Carlos Sainz. That's the sole person who held him up. I just basically have been chilling, took advantage of every single opportunity I could. I've been making many mistakes, made a couple. I think race end worthy, of course. 14 to go. And the tyre wear is absolutely golden. We've nailed tyre wear, guys. You see Lance Stroll, racing point in P5, I think it is, yeah, P5, Ricardo's out of reach, of course. Is that smoking Bottas' car? No, it's not, I don't think. I, I don't know, it looked like a bit of a plume, maybe just hit the dirt on the outside, yeah, this car looks fine. Lewis Hamilton out of the Grand Prix. Gifted us P fucking eight here. We're on course to have a battle for, with these two for seventh. Sooner or rather later, you can imagine that Carlos signed. Uh, sorry, that um, Bottas will get Ocon, then we'll have our little stab at him. Any a dodgy move with Ocon in the last couple of seasons. Take now Jeff, I'm saving it all up, basically, for final straight. I probably could make some moves, but I don't really feel the, need, the necessary need to. Unbelievable car. Race is at half decent lap. Good steps round. Faster and faster and faster through sector three. Watch that. Which is actually within 24 of me. He's at 18. Did he beat both the Alphas? He's beating both the Ash cards. Okay. Which of course is P17. Not bad for him. Let's just start getting up there with Giovinazzi and Magnus, and that's George's next step. Lance Stroll ahead is going very, very slowly. Hello, Lat. You what? Hiya. Trying everything. Trying to psych out Bottas. Trying to get to do something stupid. I can set to P6 here, quite frankly. Potential in this car. Especially me behind it, it seems. We have to go up there and fight with some of the big boys, which is nice we're actually in a position to do this. It's too weak around the middle sector. Fucking 18 seconds worth of fuck years and 18 seconds I could do without. Oh, 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 that was a bit silly, that was a bit silly, but he left the gap this time, I think I've took his wing off, oh bollocks, that could help us, I think, I, I don't know, I think I damaged him, 
I had to go for it. I had too much overspeed. Impatience personified, but I had no choice, guys. I literally had no choice. Well, I did. Everyone has a choice, but I thought, fuck it, why not? No, he seems undamaged at the moment, so we could get P5 here. The position could be on the cards. Oh, that's a bit deep on deep round there. Oh, we're going to have Valtteri all over me here. I was hoping Ocon would be overtaken before I got Bottas, but clearly not. Oh, God. Is that the killer instinct, this Valtteri? That Hamilton does. It's a yellow flag. That's an Alfa Romeo. That's another position gained here for us. Giovinazzi. This for George, I guess. This pace is strong, but be aware your tyres need to go the distance. Let's see, move again. E6, much more comfortable this time. We are fucking flying! Yes! Woohoo! Performance of the season so far. With this result in margin, guys, what would have happened if I had fucking tire wear upgrade last race like I was supposed to? I want a cheap way to actually. We notice how I've never actually passed it in the practice program before, ever. I've never done that. Not in, well, I, you know, I, I never even tried the tire wear program, but you know, the, um, the tire wear boost program that you get, like the 25 pointer. I always just end up. Oh my god, DRS on Stroll! Cut myself right off there. Let's chase him down. Nearly fast as lap. Absolutely flying. Oh, so close to the back of him. This is like a done deal in six three. Grand Prix of my career. Started P13. We're all one stops. It's not like I've cheese pit stops here. I've just been fucking brilliant compared to what I usually am. We will take this final sector. We're going to be literally having a chance to get P5. I'll retire up front then. P4. Perez is in P2. Albon P3. Red Bull's 1 2 is completely dead then. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Another movie! That's P5! Well, let's get going! What, baby? Yeah, have a look for me, please. Is there any post there? Shut the door behind you. Thank you. Now, let's give it no parcel. What an amazing Grand Prix. What? There's no one there, no? Okay. Good girl for coming back in straight away like we asked you. The final corners. No, I know exactly what I'm capable of around this track. Oh, that's an awful one. Stroll's fallen back into the wheelhouse of Ocon here. I may have probably damaged all three of them, to be honest. This has been undoubtedly my best Grand Prix of the season comfortably. 14.6 seconds. We're leading our teammate by 35.6 seconds. To these guys, thank you for watching. Anybody else that follow, be sure to do so. Careening in on that 12 to 1300 followers now. Stop at the 
myself out there doing some more commentary, see if we can get some more followers, guys, you know what I mean? Bring a fresh new audience into my content. I'm absolutely fucking sorcering around here. This is unbelievable. Carlos on the podium! Fastest lap of the race! Oh my fucking god! Wow! The Stappen's out in front. Pulse has woken up! For the first time in my career, I feel like I can challenge at the mid-pack. Well, the, the, this is upper echelons of the grid here. I think obviously, was, you know, we think up Norris being in trouble, Bottas being a lot lower on the grid. This is going even faster. Amazing stuff, this Grand Prix. Five laps of fuel remaining. Okay, I, I, I could do this 100%, not a problem. I'm loving this. This is awesome. I'm about a second on the guys around me as well. Two seconds quicker that lap than P6, Lance Stroll. It reminds me of Austria season one minutes. Ah, oh, I missed out the fastest lap, fucking bastard. What an amazing Grand Prix so far. Don't make any mistakes, still a long way to go. That fast slap should be untouchable. No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. Alpha Tari of. Well, I was going to say Alpha Tari, but the Ferrari just took over points. Battling into turn one there, if you have a look. The mini map we're going to focus on our race. It's 13 1 behind Albon. Our gap to the car in front is 13.1 seconds. He's saving some fuel. It's about two, three tenths of a second through that particular complex. Not a problem. Oh, Verstappen, you fucking whore. I had fastest lap for about four, three laps. That's incredible, just being in this car, quite frankly. First warning of the race had to happen. can burn some of this energy. Loving this car around here. Four laps to go, guys, and we are in Dreamland P5. I've got a stroll. Down to seven seconds behind me now. Albon out of DRS range. You what, lovely? I think he. I don't know. We'll have a look over in the corner. If he's there, happy days. If not, we'll find him in the cubes, alright? But this, guys, has been. My favourite ever Grand Prix, even if I just spin and die on lap 36, obviously I'm going to be fucking crying. But this race, I should have PMS I'll be in party as soon as I'm, well, I've got to go and find a couple of teddies for the little lady. Yeah, the stat was going quicker, could we had fastest lap for, a, we started P13, Hamilton retired, but we were deep on the points then, we've just been making our moves, been a lot more opportunistic. With the turn one dives, a couple of bits of contact with like Stroll and Bottas, but just leave a gap open, mate. I'm gonna take it. This car has come to fucking life. Just need a bit more to start competing up the front. We've got an ultimate tie work going coming after Monaco as well. That'd be easy to do that program. It's basically just drive around Monaco in first gear, basically. Back on, sorry, first gear. We have absolutely smashed this race. I can literally sit in standard and non, all or standard medium, so all race, and then we can just relax, basically. A bit of a stress, but I don't want to relax. I want to see if I can get within 11 of Albon. Two retirements, of course, Lewis Hamilton, Antonio Giovinazzi, Bruce and George Russell. Up to P7, 
16. He's about to be lapped, though, and he's being hauled in by the Haas. Don't lose to the Haas, George, for fuck's sake. This car is too good to lose to a Haas. Verstappen has just put up the fastest lap of the race so far. Oh, no. Thanks for fucking running me in. Oh, the Haas never took him. What a prick. And he's not the... Oh, God. This guy's a fucking pedestrian, is George Russell, honestly. You know, I need someone like a Carlos Sainz or a... Lewis, dare I say, to... To help me in this team get some points. Two to go, and there will be huge, huge celebrations after this one. Hopefully, the Ricardo rivalry can fuck off because he's, well, he's proven he's way too quick for me. Verstappen in the lead. I'm worried about how it tells about he's leading his home Grand Prix by an absolute canter. Danny Ricardo is going for P2 on Sergio Perez. What? Although Norris, I believe that is, is currently. It's called a science. Norris is way down. Norris will did start last. Which explains an awful lot. Yeah, maybe Norris actually is down there. I don't know. No point rushing here. Setup is unbelievable. Survived a couple of sketchy moments in the opening stint of the race. And uh, quite frankly, this has been my greatest drive of my career. One minute, lovely last lap. Are you ready to say, are you ready to cheer with Daddy? It's gonna be good. Otas claims fast slap that'll help him out. You want Lothwaite there, what are you saying? Never you. Sit right by there, baby. Don't touch the balloon yet. Two thirds of our lap left. So we've hit our highest put position of the season. This stage last year we had one point. We're gonna have 20 of the fuckers by the end of this. I can't believe we've been in this position, amazing as it is. Oh, here we go. Bottas still stuck by no cup of snap 11 3. Really? I'm, I'm gonna try and gun for that fast slap. Come on. Danny Ricardo gets second. Perez down to third. Albon fourth. Ready, ready, boop, boop. <laughs> yes! Sienna? We? Come on, you fucker, P5! Fifth position! There's my car in the top six! Oh my god! In the top six, I meant six, sorry. Unbelievable! We're gonna go get, we're gonna go to the shop a bit as well. Unbelievable race! How close are the fastest laps? I got people last sector. First time in this career mode, no Mercedes on the podium. in 11-3. I think Bottas might have come seventh, maybe. Cardo's first podium of the series. There's Adrian Newey on the podium. Looking like an absolute sex pest, quite frankly. What a race! Woo! Ah, man, I feel good. <laughs> we completed the next level up as well. Was it? You okay? Oh, what a race, man! Let's have a look then. At is the it? Standings. Our championship leader 11, is still 5 Ah, are you kidding me? But their rivals have made up some solid ground today. 
So, Anthony yeah, huge Davidson, crowd. who would you rank as your driver hey, of the day? It's gotta be me. To give it to Thomas. That was a commanding yeah. performance today. Very impressive indeed. It's time to see how things are shaping up in the constructors' chair. Move up on the shield. Our jump for our definitely jump off the tower. Eh? But their lead okay, is shrinking. Meanwhile, Renault move up the table with another strong Renault performance this weekend. Well, Anthony, Great stuff for Renault, by the way. And Bottas couldn't beat him. Racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see minute, you lovely. for the next one. No, lovely. Leave it, leave it here a minute. Just gonna finish this off, yeah? Guys, for once, I'm going to show you the highlights package. Here we go. It was me. Down to 13th on the grid. Imagine some of the brave souls who are on the mediums. Norris on the hards. First race, I, exp I did two restarts. I'm hopefully going to admit that. Or one restart. Well, lucky you'll watch here. Just chilled a bit. Chilled. I, I held position, actually. I, I went to... It's almost unfathomable that I got attacked from behind in this race. I literally was only looking forward, really, the entire way. <coughs> Lost chasing down Gasly. P13 still at this point. A lot of nice moves in this race. A lot of opportunistic ones, actually. Let's move on Gasly. Managed to just hang it up the, on the outside there. Beautifully done. That's P12. Same thing on Vettel, a couple laps later. It's just, I was just quicker than him. Was that Leclerc or Vettel? Look at that, look at this. Oh, oh that was for P10, sorry. That was going to get me into the points over Leclerc. <coughs> this, this was a hell of a move. Oof. That was our elbows out, but we had to do it. One minute, lovely. So we then basically did the same thing three times on three different cars. Really good highlights package, this. This is us hauling in Ocon. Look at the pace differential here. The same move. Much cleaner executed. Well, they just, they just kept leaving gaps in turn one. So what am I supposed to do? Just wait. And, ironically, the same move for the third lap run. Or third time in four laps. This is a bit more of a dodgy one. Shoulder barge my way through. As you can see, my side pod's a bit damaged there, actually. Simulation damage, of course, shows up. The side pod damage, and that is P5 for the pause man. No one anywhere near me. Standings wise, that puts us back up in the 10th place. 20 points. Level 1 point start with Norris. Uh, Ricardo moves up to 8th, of course, after that huge second place. Um, we, of course, move up another three places, of course, that helps us royally. Um, we have here, uh, Verstappen has overtaken Lewis Hamilton the first time. And the cities have been beaten in this career mode. Soundly. Uh, Williams, we got, uh, we're up to, we're still sixth. Uh, just out of Ferrari, we need George Russell to start scoring here. It's hurting us, the fact he's not now. Uh... Three cars got lapped. What an amazing baby. Can you take the tablet over to the sofa, please, love? It's just a bit loud. Come on, over to the sofa quick. We're going to be five minutes and we're going to look for your teddies, all right? Baby, go. Yeah, oh, I'll sit down for you. Yeah, of course you can. Then you go sit by the sofa for about five minutes, okay? Oh, that's a bit. There you go. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? Uh, error package. You're surpassing all expectations. Can anything or anyone stop you? Error package. It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? A very nice answer to the question, too. Your time. Possibly the greatest race of my career. And we couldn't even look at that. How are we supposed to beat that? I mean, <laughs> I come fifth in a Williams and Ricardo nearly fucking sweeps me. Just get me off this fucking goddamn rivalry, honestly. Um, 
driver affinity is going up, well, acclaim, so I keep calling it affinity. I'm so hooked on the Forza side of things. Next race is Spain. Can't wait for that shit. Oh, boy. All right, okay. I'll check some guys really quick. Okay, so he's appearing offline. All right, cool. Let's be done with him then. So guys, that was incredible. Absolutely unbelievable. Should I'm possibly glad. I'll tell you, let's go do a hashtag pause raid. Let's have a look and see if we've got any lower um, view streamers. Oh, quality control. Ah! Good, you've actually done the quality control on the chassis there. That's ideal. Um... So what we're going to do, let's go and do, see who we've got to raid them. Uh, a fellow F1 player. Hopefully someone's actually playing F1 on this raid this time. Um, this is game time. I'm not going to... That one. Claren95. Um, I can't even spell that. I think I'm on about watching something like that. No. 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 Watch the last the first challenge. Fuck that. Got one. Right, y'all guys. We are going over to a channel called Stealth. She's doing an F1 uh, career. Thank you for watching, guys. All the best. What a race. Unbelievable. Take it easy. Much love. Pause out. Bye for now. Let's go listen to the raid reaction.